All right, uh, hey guys, um, we decided we're going to try something a little different. Uh, we are attempting a podcast where we're just going to play through the game, hang out, talk about whatever, and uh, y'all could watch our different viewpoints by checking out each of our channels to get the full effect of everything. Oh, but yeah. yeah, it's me, yeah, me, Ty, Dreadicone, and uh, Jerp. What's up? What's just, up? Uh, I counted, I think, four ums and uhs just in that like that first little <laughs> intro bit. I'm, 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 I'm not, totally not gonna point that out and just make you feel yeah, thanks. <laughs> make you feel awkward. Uh, you feel so funny. Awkward. Oh man, Soul Brant podcast. We've been talking about doing this for quite a while. Uh, and... yeah, I've I've been in the game for five seconds and almost walked off a ledge. I'm in two with a giant. Gravity OP. Well, I won my first invasion. Well. It's... Congratulations. That's, that's a given. <laughs> I just invaded Swag Homie. Swag Homie. It's gonna be good times. I forgot how much I love this build. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> that was a very Dark Souls 2 moment. I invaded, he instantly died, and... Uh, Did you even reach him? Didn't even that's know where Dark he Souls was. Dark Souls 2. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is basically I run around for half an hour and then I run off the ledge. Yep. Pretty much. Oh, I, uh, in going through my PvP footage, I realized that I only have about four encounters, and the rest of them are me mostly just running off the ledge. Yeah, yeah, I went through a lot of my... Can- so most, So many of my encounters look exactly the same as all my other encounters, because it's like, I fucking... I, I warp in, I run to the bonfire, I see the host awkwardly wandering around the bonfire, I run up, we, like, swing at each other until one of us catches a stun lock, it's GG, you bow or wave, and then move on. <laughs> it's like... That was I, there was many invasions just like that. Yeah, I counted. I had twenty four PvP. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you I, managed to conquer PvP in Dark Souls two. Like I wanted that, dude. I haven't found my Jarvis yet. That's the big it's, thing. Yeah. It's got to be oh my God. agility all the way. Agility for agility the win. Agility appears to be the the OP stat in question. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens if Dark Souls uh, two like totally sucks? Are we? Uh, so uh, is, is it back to Dark Souls 1? Or we, we I mean, find I'm it planning on finishing up some of the Dark Souls quick reference, and that's about it. Yeah. Demon Souls forever. Demon Souls forever. <laughs> okay, we'll bring, we'll bring... If Dark Souls 2 sucks, we'll bring Demon Souls back full force. Oh, no, it's it's coming back full force. It's not coming back full force. Don't it's even coming lie back to yourself. Full force. <laughs> it's, it's, it's nowhere near full force. Up, let, me, let me dream. <laughs> oh, Peeve in his dreams. Yeah, How many cool. of your ideas have I shot down in the past? <laughs> like all of them? Wasn't was this have, podcast? Let me have oh, a video. Shit. Where... Sorry, a, a guy a guy with a sunlight blade just like plunge attacked me. It was it was fucking OP. Nice. Let me have my video game where I just steal everything from everybody and there's no issues and I can be the best thief in the world and it's Ultima Online all over again. Let me have that. Why can't I just so let me have that without you shooting down my ideas. <laughs> oh man! I don't know if you're gonna have any issues. Uh... Oh man! I just had the sorry. I had to be quiet because I was focusing. I just had the best, the best kill ever. A fucking um, Baronique knight or whatever the guy in Sense Fortress, the big tall like tower knight, just Is fucking that... shield bash the shit out of someone. So good. They have names. They're yeah, they're like yeah. the Knights of Berenik or something. Yeah, I wish it was like Bernanke or some or, shit. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce. I don't know things. Uh, Potato so Petrojo. So much about this game, I, I do not know. What Dark Souls? Oh, Same. Yeah. <laughs> like the other night when I fought Guinevere or, or Gwendol, sorry, Gwendolyn for like the first time that I could ever remember. Apparently, I fought her bef- or him before. Wow, it's a I dude, know. I yeah. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you look at the model, the model has an unusually large upper upper oh, torso. Yeah. It's and and snakes coming out of his skirt. So I mean, that's got to mean something, right? And fucking snakes. I don't know. <laughs> it's really interesting how they set that up because uh, they almost mirrored uh, Demon Souls and how magic is presented. Uh, where in Demon Souls, basically, uh, spoilers, everybody, but uh, the Okay, so they have this sort of like miracles versus sorcery. Sorcery is almost like technology and whatnot. Miracles is more like uh, you know a belief in God and the power of you know religious yeah. faith or whatever. Um, and yeah, <laughs> and then they have 
uh, later on they they threw the description of the talisman of beasts, which is a, a talisman that can be used as a catalyst as well. It's basically a it does everything. It's in the shape of the old one, and they uh, they sort of reveal that in Demon Souls, um, both sorceries and miracles come from the same source, aka the old yep. one. Uh, in uh, but they that they're sort of opposing forces almost, even though they're very similar in, in their their core nature. Uh, and Dark Souls, on the other hand, um, miracles are more so like uh, the power of the lords of the gods of of you know, of, of Gwyn and everything. Yeah. They're sort of a you know they still have a religious influence. And then uh, the sorceries go back to you know they they they're you know they're dragon school kind of stuff. They're um, they're actually uh, not only dragon school of Vinheim or whatever, but also um, highly tied to, to Seath. Yeah. Um, in terms of so you basically have the lords and the dragons, but you also have another another uh, sort of um, you have two opposing concepts of um, the miracles are very sun and you know light kind of stuff you know and sorceries on the other hand uh, are more so associated with dark uh, not only through dark magic which they further tied it in with, but they also uh, says that uh, Seath was the grandfather of sorcery and they also stated specifically that um, um, I believe it was that Gwendolyn was uh, either born or associated under or with the moon. Uh, So they have basically sun, moon, dark light, uh, you know, science. Earth, wind, water, uh, fire, heart, and together we are Captain Planet. (laughs) Thanks, Ian B. Oh, but they, they basically God. all I have to do is thank thank you for that lore lesson. <laughs> Brought to you I by just, I just, Bro. No, I just I just like it. It's always been no, really no, cool no, to def- have that. I agree. They carried it over those those concepts. Oh, there are so many things. Like I was thinking about that earlier today. That um, that they just demon souls straight to dark souls. So many different things. Like um. Oh yeah, the well, gargoyles. The, that yeah, the obvious parallels. Uh, you've got the gargoyles, the spider, got, uh, the swamp. Um, yeah, it's literally like uh, I don't know. I, I, like, I don't. No, it was it was basically like from software. It's like all right, just give us a do over. Yeah, we'll, they, well, it's like a parallel yeah. universe almost. Like yeah, there are yeah, like they they have you know your your swamp level and your. You know your forest level and this and that. What was there a foresty kind of level? I don't in, know. There was Demon's? not. There was not a forest yeah, level. That's in Demon's. true. Demon Souls was almost well, entirely was, like um, urban. The undead like your... versus the Boletarian Palace. Very yeah. similar styling. Very similar enemies. Although the Boletarian Palace on it, like I think a lot of Demon Souls levels were much more thoroughly fleshed yeah, out. I think they sort of more more coherent in how they were delivered. <clears throat> like the they depths could be almost bigger too. I know that's probably compared just me, to Latria, but they were. Yeah. They were. It was there was longer to get from base even like not you know not necessarily counting shortcuts but to get from the beginning of the level to the boss uh, in Demon Souls felt a lot longer. See, I can talk about all this stuff and it's not spoilery because I beat Demon Souls. What was it two days ago? Shit was crazy. Yay! Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. It was good times. <laughs> so now we'll have. That that surprise soul brand at the yeah, end. Yeah, that huh? was really cool. That was really <laughs> cool. In fact, that was so cool that if I remember when I'm editing this video, I'm going to like put the screenshot on the screen right now cuz it just it was so perfect. It's me standing there like grinning cuz I found the soul brand on the screen and in the chat box at the bottom at that moment it was you and Brandon like like <laughs> congratulating yeah. me essentially. It was really cool. Yeah. So I, I hope I remember I only, to. Spice I only got that, that soul. No promises. <laughs> oh man. There we go. Final invasion. Get another invasion. Going. I can't find. I'm this getting my guy. second one now. What? Finally. I can't find this. Oh, you're I'm wondering? I'm invading at level sixty. Yeah. And wait, are these all? These are all dead. Okay, he went this way. Um, I'm invading level sixty on my little uh, my horror build. For anyone who's wondering, I know there's a lot of people who don't know what the hell this is if y'all don't go to my live streams. <laughs> um, but it's here we go. It's essentially a build that um, that was inspired by Genosake. Yep. His uh, he's got the most there, terrifying buddy. build the ever. Egg, it's not necessarily yeah. the most. It's not necessarily the most efficient, but it's meant to scare the hell out of people mm-hmm. like this. And so I basically have this build, and its intention is to just not necessarily murder, but just relentlessly attack. Because if I'm role playing an NPC. 
like a psychotic NPC. <laughs> so, An NPC that doesn't exist, because in fact it is a PC. <laughs> you, you know, Holy Brandon, no, no. Just, just, there's motorcycles flying all over my neighborhood right now. Really, guys? I'm, I'm filming my I'm filming. I'm recording my first podcast, and, and you need to come out in full force. Oh my god! Motorcycles. This... Wow, you're not a noob. No. Oh. Sends fortress. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I thought I was invading like a like a new player or something, and he's I get close, and he's like grave larding and stuff, and then he starts like starts pivot canceling his uh his forces and stuff and he chains it wow. into and I'm like, okay, so not necessarily yeah, a new thing. Not the best thing to make this build. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm pretty pleased. In the same week, pretty much, I got to play Dark Souls two. Uh I got my um I beat Demon Souls and I got my subscriber button. All in the same week. That's pretty cool. Pretty yeah. good. Oh yeah, almost almost took a picture of it earlier. I um Happen to go to your page, and I may or may not have really? subscribed. <laughs> yeah, <Aww. laughs> Dude, I, I had your. So you need to nice have you. <laughs> I, I had your, your chat finances. Open. Yeah, I had your chat open, and it uh said Peeve has subscribed, and like I was the only one in the chat. <laughs> so, so I was all sad. Yeah, you need to get those emotes oh, yeah. out. Gonna be. I should probably subscribe. I want to just I, I like the things is that like for for I don't want to give Twitch money. <laughs> like <laughs> I would rather just give you five bucks. Oh, I missed the fucking uh, <laughs> like, Switch Perry. Here's the thing: like if Twitch can't maintain their chat for more than like a day and a half at a time, why should I give them more money? Yeah, they do have a lot of issues with the chat, but I, I don't know anything that goes on behind the scenes, and I'm not the most. Yeah technologically savvy um, by any means so I'm personally not convinced that it's like okay so like a lot of other larger services that have chat can have functional chat that authenticate and everything Twitch I don't think Twitch necessarily has an nope. excuse they're effectively the leading monopoly on on fucking uh on North American uh, streaming yes <laughs> like 100% yeah. so, nothing compares so so figure it out. I mean, that's that's what I want to know. Like, they need to get you their shit together. You know what's really funny is Ustream is, like, uh, they're really trying to push the, like, business angle now. Like, Ustream used to be, oh, they yeah, used to be so pretty terrible. big for their, like, video games. But now, like, you go to their page and it's just, <laughs> they're, like, business like, conferences and all these fucking fake, like, composed stock photos. It's really fucking funny. Oh, yeah. I am having the most amazing duel in the in like the room, the boss room at Sense Fortress. It's so fucking good. Like I've been fighting this guy for probably two minutes now, and it's just incredible. I think I invaded the same guy from a moment ago. I'm, I'm hoping to find new players with this. It's it's just not bro offhand broken uh, straight sword is not what you want to be. <laughs> Using to your any form of advantage. Oh my god! Is that what you're using right now? Me in a back set. Yeah, no. it's my oh, it's my right. little um my horror setup. It's it's meant to scare newer players. They're supposed to see it and go, "What the hell is that?" And I just relentlessly attack and not focus on winning. Just kind of mindlessly attack. That's what I enjoy doing. Just want to scare the noobs. Lose this fight. It's so intense. <laughs> I can't even like concentrate on the podcast because like this is the most intense fight I've had at level fifty in like months. Holy shit! Guy's got a shotel now and he wants to. Oh, my God, I found him. Oh. Ah, uh, I can't mindlessly attack a. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's getting eaten by a slime. Nice. That. <laughs> Sounds like we're all having some that pretty works. intense fights. Holy shit. <laughs> I just, I'm just like sitting there in the, in the catacombs going, anybody who... Yes, I parried him. Is it the one? Oh, man, I think I killed him. Please, please, please let him be dead. Oh, what a fight. Best, best fight I've had. And oh, my God, I'm so glad we recorded that. In fact, he's getting a want... second bow. He gets two bows from Thomas the Balder Knight. Oh my god, best fight ever. Give him a little bit of this guy. Yeah, yeah this guy. That's the other thing about uh, Dark Souls 2. I don't know how many people have like pointed that out in all the like leaked fucking this videos. Guy? But yeah, the, I love the this, emotes this guy emote. 
the yeah. fact that like it's weird though they kept what looks like the same uh, buttons for the the emotes like the little panels that come up. So I thought they would all oh, be yeah. the same, but then you go to them and no, they're no, no. vastly like, two different. Them are different. Oh yeah, two of them are different. Like, but the, many, many, many of them are. are well, they all look okay. So the, this the guy is different, and I think at least one other one is different. yeah. But the I think they took the same model or like whatever they were using to to create that shot. Yeah, they well they reused um, a few of them, one hundred percent. I guarantee it. Oh yeah, and it's just like yeah. it's funny oh, that it's a completely that looks different like... emoticon, but like yeah. It looks like hurrah. Like yeah. That one that looks like hurrah, and it's and, and it's, it's not. This, the most awkward <laughs> yeah. wave. It's like ever. this weird like, like lean wave sort of, thing. It's good. He's like hello. It, it's almost it's almost sort of like uh, like they're really shiny. He's like hey. Yeah. <laughs> so, even like, hey, even though hey, this guy not is so hurt. subtle, like I feel like from a distance you won't be able to like oh, understand it's what the so are. awkward and <laughs> stupid that I love it. I swear to God, all twenty four of my PvP encounters. Did you do this guy? Every single one that i won or had an an uh a chance to bow i did this guy nice. constantly i was just like this guy like the entire time people would fall off a cliff not pointing myself like this guy <laughs> like, i i loved it nice i love that emote because it's so stupid mm-hmm. absolutely yeah. my it. my favorite way to win a fight is after you win a fight drink all of your estus in a row because the estus seems to have a, <laughs> yeah. a gradation of speed like the first one is really slow but if you keep slamming the button it it looks like it goes faster and faster probably because it's pointless at, at that point it's very it's very like twitchy. it is it's but like, it's, it's so like... funny it's like <laughs> 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 kind of that sort of thing yeah, yeah. And, yeah. That, and then at the end you obviously <laughs> it's almost like twitchy. yeah at the end you almost run out or you obviously run out and like dump the empty like uh, the drops but it's uh, it's so good that's my favorite that's my favorite taunt right there it's just after you beat someone just chug 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 so we'll see Oh, I want to. I want to play it again. I, 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 I had a blast. I want to play yeah. it now I, I that I understand. Of PvP in, more about like it. I want to now. Well, now that I know what I want to do now, like rather than just like wandering around aimlessly, and I sort of kind of, I, I, I feel like I finally have an understanding of like, like okay, so basically, like the entirety of the game is so damn dark that I can barely see a damn thing. Now that I sort of know, like if I wander aimlessly in this direction, I'll proceed forward. Uh, I feel like now I want to go and do some co-op or some PvP, you know, uh, something. And I like, do it in mass. Like I want to get to, I either want to get to the next bonfire and invade from there, or I would like to, um, I'd like to go and get next to Tarkus, a boss. What are you doing, Tarkus? No, 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 Tar- Tarkus! No, I got backstabbed by fucking Tarkus. Tarkus, Tar- Tar- Tarkus can backstab really bad. <laughs> oh man, I got backstabbed by one of the Come NPCs. On, Tarkus, and, uh, oh, if you give him their back, if you give him uh, your back, it'll it'll happen. Yeah. Oh man, Tomb of the Giants, summon and host. Now, you're in Tomb of the Giants? Shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to invade uh, randoms on this build, but like I don't want to backstab anybody with it or anything. It's just meant to scare noobs, but they're not very scared of me right now. <laughs> I finally got an invasion in the uh, like I have to catacombs of the abyss. Them. Oh my god, or whatever. y'all aren't noobs. Damn it. Well, yeah, well, you're, you're like level 50. You should be invading at 25 or something Think like that. Scare the shit out of all the low level guys. You somehow wander down there. This guy. Yeah, but to have well, the setup go. I wanted, I kind of... Or not. I mean, and, and he gives he gives his butt a hug. That's nice. Um, to have the setup I wanted, I, um, I needed it to be like level 60. Here it he works is. occasionally. Occasionally you'll get someone who's like... It's obviously like someone who's... Holy shit, uh, this is so intense! Rapid, oh, crap, I didn't get the block off. Most of the time, it's just me running in, trying to mindlessly attack, and getting backstabbed to death. Which is fun, I guess. <laughs> I'm determined to get at least Oh, one. I killed him! Holy shit, what a fight! Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was... Oh my god, guys, sorry I wasn't saying anything. I just had the... I'm there fighting like... Finally. Oh, it's so good. Uh, best... Some of the best footage I've ever gotten, like... Oh, man. Wait, where I'm, are you? I'm in right Sen's now? fortress fighting like three people at a time every invasion. Fucking t- I kicked Tarkus off a ledge. I fought a phantom, then killed him. What for you? Kicked Tarkus off a ledge. The guy summons a different phantom. I fight him. I manage to kill the host while they're both attacking me. Oh guys, so good. Sen's fortress. Are you on are you on Thomas yeah. right now? Shit, yeah. He's my mo- he's probably my favorite character. Like Is Thomas still fifty? He's still fifty. Son of a bitch. I should probably get over there. <laughs> yeah, I, well I I 
I don't want to. I don't go to like Sin's Fortress and stuff. I'll, on this build, I like to stick to like scary places. Stuff that seems like well, he you like to you yeah. like to stick to like Giant dumpsters steps. and back alleys and stuff. Places yeah, where dumpsters, to, back alleys. to cost invade, so to speak. Yeah, cost invade. So what? Yeah, cost cost PvP oh, cost, cost play, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Just wanna, I just wanna scare some noobs. Yep, that's, that's the whole point. Do. Well, I, I made a horror build as well, the Dreadlord. Um, he's not. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to make him effective, but fuck, is he ever scary? He has a tail. Like he's the only build I've ever had that has a fucking like scorpion tail. Oh, this might be. This might be. Somebody. He'll probably kill me, but. So how are your invasions going, Jerp? Uh, slow. I am in the catacombs of the oh, abyss, or whatever we call it now. And uh, I got one invasion where I basically took a face full of soul mass and then went back to the other guy. Oh wait, you're in the wait, like the township right. dungeon. Oh okay. yeah, like the uh, the 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 area right before yeah, mass. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's called they, anymore. They, I think yeah, they call it the abyss, but it's like it's a different it's, it's like a different abyss, abyss than we're used to. It's not quite the uh, yeah, it's not quite my favorite. No. Like you know, no, it's it's no catacombs. On, on it's Arabis. no catacombs. Catacombs is the best. Well, the, the catacombs was slow as well. It's oh, yeah. like, I, like here's the thing. Like, I think, I think there might be something that causes my my invasion frequency to be really well, low I, I, lately, especially if, with Jarvis. If Jarvis. I had a theory about the catacombs, it's that it's optional, so people don't have to go I to the catacombs uh, if they don't want to. Well, and there's they a can huge go, well, shortcut. The, thing. the shortcut is the thing. The catacombs isn't optional because of two of the giants. But the thing is, though, is that like for well for PvP, it yeah. generally is. I mean. Uh, Yo, man, I know you could do it. It's like I root for the other player. Like I say, it's optional in a sense that yeah, for like a lot of players will just try to get the Lord Vessel so they can warp around, and then they're that's as far as they go. Like they do that, then they go to the DLC and they leave a bunch of places open. Um, And Catacombs is like a perfect example of that. I want to smash him. I want to crush him. (laughs) I can just imagine Peeve right now, just fucking mashing people. What what weapon are you using, Peeve? The I'm using the Bush butcher's knife. Right. Nice. Cool. Are you using like an offhand oh, fucking like silly dagger? Offhand thing? broken straight oh, yeah. sword. Oh yeah, that's right. The offhand yeah. broken straight sword. It's like it was... I used to just run up and randomly attack them and just mash them, but now it's like I died so much doing that. It was mm-hmm. fun, but I died so much doing that that I kind of try to play it a little more since. But I, 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 have a theory, I still like the I have a theory that uh, can. we can now in Dark Souls Two buff offhand weapons. Um, yeah, with, I, yeah, I think I know how you can, do it too. You just if have you your thing and drops a hand. No, no, no. I think well, what I meant for the uh, there's um, what is it called? Uh, Power stance. Some it no. There, it's it's a it's an item. It's called um, something ooze aromatic ooze. Okay. Aromatic. And uh, I think if you hold the button down rather than tap it, I think it'll try to buff the other oh, that's weapon. Cool. Oh no 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 no! Me and um me and Brandon were watching uh we were watching something that uh, not gonna not no not can't talk about it. But it was um I had I had my dual swords. <coughs> I, I swear I don't have any footage of this. I had my um I had my dual weapons and uh and I buffed. And like we were watching it, and after I buffed the right yep. hand, Brandon was like, "Why didn't you press it twice?" I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Well, look, it it still gives you the prompt to um to buff again. Like aromatic ooze was still highlighted as if I could buff again." Huh. And so we're thinking, if I would have just hit it a second time, maybe I would have buffed my. Or maybe left you would have well, re-buffed. You should. You should. <laughs> well, what I'm thinking yeah. is that it yeah. shouldn't force you to. Um, well, here's it could have, what it could have also done is stacked yeah. the buff. Well, not necessarily stacked what? it or maybe refreshed it. Because that's kind of well, an annoying thing. In, in we have to get permanent that it'll stack it. And the damage was terrible when I tried to use it with the dagger. Yeah. Well, the dagger the so. dagger was kind of terrible. The dagger was but awesome stacked like, stun but, logging, but the damage was, like, horrendous. But, but here's the thing, though. Like, if... If the buffs apply static damage like they did in Dark Souls, then that static damage is too low. Yeah. But if it's, like, a percentage plus a small amount of static, that would make sense. You know, or maybe maybe they they add a percentage of what the damage would have been, which could have mean which could have meant that if I had gotten a critical, mm-hmm. I would have gone from you know three fifty to four hundred yeah. to instead like five plus. This is truth. Um, okay, so uh, I'm gonna just derail the conversation like I do, but uh, we should talk oh my God, about. No, come um, back. I want to talk a little bit. Oh, apparently I'm being summoned 
as a phantom from invading. Okay, Dark Souls. We'll no, see how this gravity. Goes. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Uh, we should talk about what the Soul Brant podcast is because I want people to know right away that it's not always going to be Dark Souls and and stuff related. Like we're going to play other games. It's it's more of a thing to just keep us producing content and keep us kind of connected. So we're going to be playing other games and showing you guys but we're always going to try to do this format where we all record from our own perspective and then you can go from video to video and like watch um like what we're up to and stuff so uh and you can easily yeah. do like youtube doubler yeah, or whatever to, you, to exactly. watch and then I mean, just i'm sure there's one. a service or yeah. something to do them simultaneously yeah like that would yeah. be perfect it's and then you can hear brandon yeah. on like three Podcast different streams fucking flying by in his motorcycle Sorry, there's motorcycles yeah, yeah, all over gonna, my neighborhood right now. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> um, Surprised I've got the slow room of the catacombs right now. I've lost every single invasion with this build, but that is that's what happens once you're rolling this this sweet sweet build. I love it though. I love the look of it and everything. I love it. Who is he summoning? I wonder how many <laughs> how many souls I have in Bubba. I wonder if I can get him to 120 just off of what I got. Because uh, the Jarvis invasions are not happening. Tonight. Oh my god, are these aggroed? I want to fuck Just with this neck. guy. <laughs> I'm trolling this poor guy so bad. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Guys, this this might be the best, best troll ever. So, um, I got summoned to Sen's Fortress by using my red orb. The guy is now... Uh, so, I we, we walked up, we waved. I'm now standing on the bridge blocking the doorway. Tarkus is blocking the other side. The guy is trapped between me and Tarkus on the bridge. His only choice is to try to awkwardly go around us or fall off the bridge. So we're going to see what happens. Go west. <laughs> <laughs> if this works out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so happy. I'm just making it look like I, I AFK. Oh no! Don't kick me out! He black crystalled me! No! Oh, motherfucker. Hey, tell me this. With the recording... <laughs> It seems like it's like recording me at low, like relatively low volume. Like when I talk, the microphone has like like a couple of green yeah, bars. No, when that, you talk, that's it's not, like eight. That's not an accurate representation. I promise. Because I was worried about okay. that too. Like mine was very very low. Because I'm sitting I'm there, going, like, I must not fine. sound like anything. Your volume is fine. Okay. Uh, on your end and on our our ends, it'll be. It's weird for whatever for anyone that doesn't know the the program we're using to record um, Skype and like all this all of our technology and shit. It's just kind of yeah. The display is a little buggy, but it works fine. I um and I'm using the version that prompts you to, to keep going after every twenty minutes apparently. I've gotta click on like yes, let's keep oh, going. Oh really? Does it does it hopefully yeah. it doesn't interrupt the uh Well it's it gives you like a minute to click oh, on okay, okay. otherwise uh, it. <laughs> it'll cancel well, the ours call. Ours doesn't I'm do like, that. <laughs> well you got yeah. the good version. I got the stupid like we want I'm... more money from you version. <laughs> Dude, there is there is so many invasions in Tomb of the Giants right really? now. Like, I'm getting like Are instant they different invasion. people though? Yeah, oh, I don't, I don't yeah they've all been different Dude, people. It feels like your character was like would have been born in Tomb of the Giants. Exactly, like. yeah. Tomb of the Giants, Lost Isolates, stuff yeah. like that. Like That's, that's where awesome. the depths is where I tried to invade and get beat up I a lot. I just like fucking <laughs> uh, Sunny Sen's Fortress. Like right now, yeah, the, lost, oh, Sen's Fortress is part, partly overcast with a nice westerly breeze, probably like five miles an hour. Um, the sun is shining, the birds are not being birds because there are none. But uh, you know, it's a good time. It's always it's always sunny in Sense Fortress. I don't. Yeah, I'm taking a shot at it myself. Is this it? Okay. Yeah. Taking a shot at Sense Fortress. Yeah. <laughs> you just want me to invade? Oh wait, do you have it open, or are you, you're trying to invade it? I know. I'm trying to invade. As, as who? Jarvis. As a red. As Jarvis. Okay, so yeah. You're, you'll be invading high level people, right? Uh, well, I mean, hundred and pl- hundred and above, right? Probably. Yeah. I wanted to try to figure out, like, I couldn't I couldn't work out the math for it, but I wanted to see if I could make oh a version God. of this Jarvis that I could have used the, um, the Avalon, oh, yeah, yeah. but it just, it just doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, no, you need to be, you need to be, like, level 140 or something for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. unless so you sacrifice something, but Jarvis is so... So it would have to be the shield yeah. or something, I don't know. Yeah, you'd have to use a, a less awesome shield. Yeah. My goal is to get one win with this build without without falling off a cliff, maybe, would be nice. 
I wonder what the uh, I wonder what the next phase of the beta is going to be like. Because I mean, twenty five thousand people or thirty thousand, I guess, people simultaneously is like more than the entire CCU oh, yeah. of Dark Souls at any given time. So, well, the good thing uh, is everybody who wants to be in the beta will be in the beta. Like the. I'm- but server wise, well, or what? You know, are they going to allow you to more areas, or oh, are they? Man. Well, no, no, no. What I, what I want to know is basically oh, like, how are they going to allocate more servers for this? Are there going to be uh, more areas open? Are they so going to change I'm character 100% stats? I'm one hundred percent convinced I just invaded hackers. There is an Ornstein quick rolling build that I invaded at level. F- oh my god, they're both Ornstein. <laughs> oh shit, they're using like Dragon Slayer spear and everything. Oh, I'm so fucked. There's no way at level 50 they can Are use they that flipping? shit. Well, no, but they're they're running quick. Like there's yeah, this is this is total bullshit. Hackers for sure. Calling it now. Yeah, no. Oh wait, no. I think he's mid rolling. He might be mid rolling, which I guess at level at low level could be the case. Well, if you're invading, you're going this anywhere. Oh, that's level. right. Yeah, you could be any level. This is the one right here. I'm calling. Hard. This is where I I finally murder murder time. This is going to be a tricky, tricky invasion. Fucking Dragon Slayer Spear, of all things. Uh, I don't want to go to the township. It's all so boring. It's so Final Destination. Oh, no. That didn't work. Oh, fuck it. There's apparently oh, yeah. a second there invasion is. spot on the township. I don't know oh, where. Oh, so much damage. <sighs> Woo! Ornsteins, please! <laughs> oh, ah. motherfuckers. Two Ornsteins just wrecking me. Wow. Brutal. I wonder what other weapon I could put on Jarvis that would uh, have the same sort of distance punch as uh, as the Avalon, but not have ridiculous weight and stat requirements. I mean, it's almost like, at that point, it would just be worth... Rolling him with like Dex and Jarvis <laughs> and using Velkas or something. Yeah. It's like with, so you have magic to shoot at people. You mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I just need a distance punch to, to combine with yeah. the range or with the. If uh, the only there was a way you could get your Hornet ring, decent poise, and magic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, no, no, I, I chopped a noob in half. Not like so eighty like, one twenty. You could even do. What are you saying, Pete? I said I chopped a noob oh, in yeah. half. Sweet. Yeah. Yep. Chopping noobs. Alrighty. Noob Here's a dude. Oh man. Fuck, as if I invaded a pair of Ornsteins in Sense Fortress. That uh, they oh hurt God. so bad. Dragon Slayer Spear hurts so much. Yeah. What is going on with this? But yeah, so like what kind of games would you guys be interested in playing in the future so that the the people listening have an idea of what we could be Probably would have to be either like we would co op through yeah, something or maybe some uh Ooh, co op. Oh my god, you know what would be perfect for that? that? Have you ever tried Castlevania um, Harmony oh, of these guys? No, but I heard it's amazing multiplayer. Oh my god, it's so yeah. good. I, but you have you played through it all and shit? I've I've done like everything you oh can do god. through it, but I would be willing to like try to I want to I want to restart it because if you make oh, a new character okay. and stuff, you could use all your old characters just OP gear oh, and really? stuff, which kind of sucks. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I, I'm almost tempted to, like, wipe my save, you know? <laughs> gotcha. But, yeah, I, I think we but should definitely do I'd some, be down with some that. Uh, co-op games. Maybe we should take suggestions from people. Guys, in the yeah, comment section, that. like, you know, say whatever you want to normally say about the podcast. Like, if you like it or if you, you know, oh, whatever, crap, whatever you think about it. But yep. uh, if you guys have any suggestions as to games that you think... Now, think about it. The three of us, you, you most of you know our personalities pretty good. Um, so try to come yeah. up with games that you think we would uh, we would enjoy playing. So please no Call of Duty, Black Ops, Ghost Squad, um, oh, of right. heroes and medals. Like none of none of that stuff. Um, <laughs> try to keep it you know interesting. But we'd love to hear your, your suggestions because it just makes less work for us. And uh, yeah. I want to play Call of Duty, Black Ops, Ghost Squad medals. Fuck yeah! It's the newest it's thing from Black. Uh, sector squad gaming. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> MLG <laughs> town. I don't know. I have nothing yeah. left to say about that. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. He got. He's going to get the meat Wow, that was close. Call of Ghost Duty. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was really trying with the, uh, the dead angle wogs and the cancels. 
<clears throat> I find a lot of people who try with that just end up like canceling their own logs accidentally and like fucking themselves over. Well, he, he basically gave me a couple free backstabs. Yeah. I got caught with some rolling attacks by the uh, the great the I think it was the regular. Oh my god! I'm no, not I'm not sure which one's <laughs> which. The great club. It's yeah. the, or it's the one. Oh my god! I'm gonna I'm gonna walk off a ledge. Steve, I'm gonna just walk right off. Well, in the well, you're in the tomb of the giants, dude. In the dark. Yeah, and I'm having to backtrack. I, I'm normally pretty good at navigating my way around Tomb of the Giants, like, but what by like I'm having to backtrack your, because your brightness I, I up pass them up. Actually, no, just wandering through the dark and falling off so many cliffs. That <laughs> you've got a, you've got like now. a mental uh, map of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I'm having to go backwards, and it's kind of. <laughs> I remember a time when I was so bad at this video game. I was doing uh, Meow Scenarios. It was my first Meow Scenarios run, and I got to Tomb of the Giants. And I had realized that I had no fucking idea how to get through Tomb of the Giants, so I actually asked someone to make a guide <laughs> and like send it to me. Oh, and like three. You sent me. Uh, did you it. wanted me to do the uh, the short. I guide. made you the oh, guide. Oh, there you. you know. Oh, yeah. you guys both made me guides, but somebody else made a better yeah. guide. You guys made me guides, oh. and then someone else made a guide. No, I no, no. Listen, listen. It. Someone else made a guide where, from the moment you climb the ladder. Uh, from Tomb of the Giants, it's like twenty like seconds until you're at like Nido. It was crazy. It was so direct yeah. that like when I started the stream, people were people thought people were like, how the fuck did you do that? Because I yeah, you just run and blindly jump off of one cliff and then land and roll and jump off another cliff and boom, you're like in the light and like running along that that outer uh, ledge towards Nido. It was like so fucking op. So many people are alive in Tomb of the Giants right now. That's so weird. <laughs> Why? Because Dark Souls. Because they all realize that they don't want to play Dark Souls 2, so everyone's just like repopulating regular Dark Souls. That's my theory. Hey, anyway. I had a You blast. had a blast because you played one class. You played one yeah, type of up. character one way. You played one of the stronger ones, too. Yeah, and you were yeah, leveled I, up. I, you fucking... Yes, you have a biased opinion, <laughs> yeah. Peeve. You don't count. The rest of us yeah. tried a whole bunch of different I don't shit, think it, and it I was bad. I don't think it was a bad game, but I, it, it was so against my preconceptions <laughs> yes. that I couldn't make like, any dude, progress. Try playing the hunter and, and invading someone. And you will well, cry. Well, yeah, the hunter, I, hunter was better I, I, by far than the sorcerer, unless you like you had to play a very different strategy than I under, than I expected or understood with the sorcerer. Yeah. Like it, if it, you stay close, you will. Honestly, die. the most OP thing I did in the whole beta was use my soldier. I didn't even use a weapon. I just switched to my offhand crossbow and the witching urns, and I murdered people with that. I would just keep plugging them with the crossbow until they got close and then hit them in the face with a witching urn which would knock them back and then keep shooting them with the crossbow it was like the most op strategy the crossbow sounded the crossbow really nice was so I, uh, nice like i only got to use it just like jarvis 2.0 will at least be happy in that but no uh, what what i was what i was gonna say was if you if you just play on base characters of course it's gonna be a terrible time yeah but you know the any, idea is that if you're playing on base characters level 29? and you're facing base level characters it should be like somewhat even or something but some of the characters unless the invasions go up well yeah but but, but well maybe but dude I, it was the network test like the people were standing at the bonfire like you could tell it was their first minutes playing the game like they there was no i wasn't invading people that were like your level um you know at the first bonfire. there we go i know i was facing other people my level but it was like their the classes i chose to play were broken <laughs> like they they the soldier was okay, but the um, the other ones were just ugh. So, I, I'm actually I, I'm just y y no. <laughs> Sorry, I I experienced semi high level PvP. I think my opinion holds some weight. Yeah, but it's like it's like it's like trying. Wow, going yeah, real fast. Yeah, he went from my place to your place awfully quick. Wow, gotta go fast. <laughs> Gotta go really fast. But no, um, yeah, I, it'd be like it'd be like trying to get an opinion on Dark Souls by going in like level twenty or something and not having like any stamina or anything. Of course, it'd be yes, but it'd be miserable. Well, here's the thing though: they have preset classes that we're supposed to get a baseline experience from, and for the most part, some of them are terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it was a mixed bag. Peeve, when the next network test starts, I challenge you to play a different class. Play, play I yeah. challenge I'll, I'll you play, to play, play a hunter can, or can, a sorcerer. I can, I can play a hunter or a sorcerer, but the moment I level it up to what I want, then I'll, I'll be happy. Really? That's, okay. I'm, I'm okay. Curious. That's how but you can, I, I you can, you can prove that, that theory, then, Peeve. 
<laughs> I will say though that most of my struggle with the game was simply that I didn't it, like I had to, to Oh my god. To, I had to discard my notions of how the game was meant to be played and I did do that soon yeah, enough. Same. Where's this guy going? Is he running from me? Oh, he's trying to Oh my god, he's going to sway hand or murder me. No. Oh, well was I got well what is it did on that's how you pronounce that. Again I got a Tarkus chasing me. Oh Tarkus, come come now. Here we go. I'm gonna die by the poison guy. guy. I gotta I gotta knock him off. Oh the my switch god, no Tarkus! <gasps> Oh, Tarkus, please, why? He was so... Oh, the sadness is so big. <laughs> fucking Tarkus. Tarkus Here is like go. the fucking... The weird mini-boss of this level. Even when you invade. I can't believe you're struggling with Tarkus. Dude, no, He's he such an is. easy backstab off a ledge well, He is, and I, but I don't like to... I like to kick him off a ledge. Oh, because it, they're narrow ledges, but... I miscal. Uh, Shut up! I miscalculated. You don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know nothing about my miscalculations, right? <laughs> oh man, fucking Tarkus! It was still a really funny clip, though. So worth worth every moment. Ten out of ten would invade again. So what else can we talk about with regards to like Soul Brant and like the future and like what we plan on doing with uh, with future podcasts? Oh, um, maybe, equipment maybe for me, some sort sure. of I schedule. Could see a like, are we going to try to do this weekly? I, I would like to do weekly. Yeah, we could do it weekly. Very easy to okay. do it weekly. Yeah. Two we times do a week, weekly. I think we could probably squeeze in once we get yeah. into the, and you know, sort of get through the, the, the growing pains, so to speak. Agreed. Because, yeah, there's some technical yeah. issues we need to iron out to make it, like, well, up to jerp standards. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. I'm hey, not making fun I, of you, dude. The, what I'm my saying, voice ball what I'm, could be a lot better yeah, if I was using my regular microphone. What I'm saying is that uh, you have higher standards for audio uh, and, and video <laughs> and... Well, everything. Then we do, but that, and that's totally okay. You, you're, you're like the straight man of the whole situation. You're the one who makes sure everything is like on point, and that's good. But uh, I, guys, for, like minutes ago, Jerp was like practically pulling his hair out about the whole like audio and the balancing. And the funny thing it was him and I were in a call and we were trying to figure it all out, and he almost got it to an acceptable level after like 20 minutes. And I'm like, Jerp. Peeve is about to come in here with his broken ass microphone and his fucking hey, air I conditioner. Turned off my AC. Yeah. <laughs> I turned off my AC. But I was like, Peeve's you probably about still to come hear in here. You're not going to anything. Oh, here it goes. To... <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Nah, I'm just fucking. With you. you know what I really like about this? The fact that, like, what? I, I don't get me wrong, love live <laughs> streaming and all that, Hello. but but we're not getting stream side. Oh, it feels really I nice to get I wasn't even ready for that. invasions for once. So I invaded a gentleman wearing uh, stone armor, so he looked like a ninja turtle. And I uh, landed, oh, I jumped off a ledge I, off the stairs. I landed on his head. I was like riding his shoulders for a second. He stumbled away from me and then tried to black crystal me out. <laughs> I was like, oh no. And then I ended for up backstabbing him in a firebomb and he was so very dead. This this build actually okay, brought okay. me back to the game a while back. For anybody who's listening that is just kind of bored with the game, go make the scariest looking build, no matter how little it makes sense, and just make it kind of a low level and just invade. I would like to expand on that idea and way. say just cosplay something. Just do something that isn't a min-maxed monster and keep it low level so that you get constant invasion. Remember, the lower your level, the more frequent your invasions are guaranteed to be because you're going to invade upward. So if you t made a level 40 character, you are always going to get invasions pretty much anywhere because you can invade far enough down and all the way up. But yeah, I think I think the answer to keeping the game fresh is to change it up and not use fucking... You know, the the dark magic scrub, the katana, same builds yeah. that everyone uses. Just like My thing is focusing more, getting back to, to like random invasions. Yeah. And the only way to really do that is to make some form of low-level build. Yeah. And while you're doing that, you might as well make it fun. And get your ass out of the, uh, out of the burg and out of the township and, uh, yeah, yep. go find, go find bad areas. guys elsewhere. Because there's so yeah. much more I, um, fun when it's... 
Like I don't even I don't even I can't parry with this build and I don't backstab. I just mindlessly attack and I die <laughs> a lot, but it's fun. And it hopefully it's a fun experience for the player, even if they're new, because it's like this big scary ass thing coming at you. So if they live through it, like that's an invasion and hopefully baby they lasers want to talk at about. me across the bridge. Oh man, one time this psychotic looking Oh no, I fell uh, I fucked up so bad Oh, but, but Tarkus jumped off after me Haha, ha. took Tarkus with me, oh. motherfuckers <laughs> I'm invading in the abyss right now Oh yeah, Jerp is there really. Oh, it's so, it's so fitting Yeah, it's pretty fitting <clears throat> Okay, so we oh, are Oh crap, why did I do that? That was a dumb idea We're 48 minutes in, so how much longer do you guys want to uh, y'all wanna y'all wanna try to get in one more invasion? Yeah, let's do let's oh, all do God. one more invasion, and then uh, we'll put an end to our first episode. Um, and I think I think the the if the more we oh, do of the podcast, so the more we do of the podcast, the more um, structured it will get. Well, structured, and I shouldn't say that. I mean, That's we'll so we'll we'll focus on specific I topics think, uh, a little more. Um, but I mean, there's always plenty to talk about, and even if it's not Dark Souls. Yeah. 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 We could like. I was thinking we could play like anything. We could play. Um, Spelunky would be a. a Is that cool multiplayer? Game to, to play. I guess it doesn't. It, it doesn't it's have not. To be multiplayer. It, yeah, it doesn't have to be multiplayer. It's just, Ugh, stupid piece of junk. We could. We like could I play get it, literally, so. literally anything. Yep. And this, I think, this would work out really wow. well. Wow. Yeah. I got well. What is it? Getting a uh, pretty hardcore rushdown. That's how it goes. Nice. Welcome to Dark Souls. <laughs> Welcome to right. Dark Souls. Yeah. Well, it's, you don't normally see uh, some guy uh, dragon breathing you while another guy chases you down with a uh, <laughs> with a katana. You know what else is no. funny about uh, this particular um, thing we're doing right now? So we're all recording ourselves for an hour, just like all the invasions. You know, if we just standing around, everything it's very raw. But what's nice about it is a lot of people on YouTube aren't used to that. They aren't used to like what streamers go through, which is where you see all the invasions, you see all the fuck ups, right. you see there's everything. No, there's no, there's no painting a picture. Yeah, you see all the waiting, like, like funny. guys. Any of you who like, you know, you follow your favorite YouTubers yeah. who play Dark Souls and everything. For the most part, there are a few exceptions. For the most part, you're seeing their favorite invasions because they they invade all day. And then they compile twenty minutes of footage. That's their best. Yeah, there's got to be. There's got to be. Yeah. That's the stuff that people want to watch. Yeah. That's the. That's the impressive stuff. Exactly. Nobody want. Nobody right. wants to see you get twop ganked and die by gankers a million yeah, times. But I mean, over. that's that's what streamers go through, and it's this, a very different audience. Despite the one percent, maybe of people saying, "Oh yeah, I totally like." Why don't you post a uh, you know a video of yourself dying? And it's yeah. like, well, guess nobody's going to watch exactly. that. Exactly. But now they have to. <laughs> so the point I'm trying to make but is that the, uh, the death reels or the the gag reels are fine. Yeah. Like you know the. The, uh, but what the, I, well, the, fun, the, the point of disaster, disaster really more entertaining death. But the point yeah. I'm trying to make is that a lot of the audi- the current, uh, the YouTube audience isn't used to this. So it's kind of nice that they're they're seeing, like for instance, a lot of people. Well, probably not anymore. But they probably think Peeve is immortal and he doesn't lose. Though well, you, you, I, I, in the past, that, 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 that was this the whole case. time. This whole time, I've been letting I've been letting a small cat slap at the controller. That's why I've been dying. I haven't even. <laughs> I haven't touched the computer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you've seen any deaths, and then uh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't, Peeve takes no, wasn't. no, uh, <laughs> no ownership of that. But yeah, it's, I'm, just, it's I'm interesting. Playing, because, I'm playing with my feet right because now. this is raw Dark Souls. This is what all of you who are watching go through, including the, you know, the the big time YouTubers and stuff who look fucking immortal. It's like you know, this is this is the way it really is. You know, you like you'll run into the same gang squad four or five times, and they'll fucking twop log you to shit. And like, you'll go to, you know, if you're me, you'll go to kick Tarkus off a bridge, but you'll miss, you'll misjudge and actually push yourself off the bridge, and Tarkus will survive. But then Tarkus will like come after you, so it's all good. And like, uh, yeah, so you know, it's just nice because you know there, people on Twitch are very thing, used to what we're doing right now. But yeah, if there's one like, thing I'd say is if if I know I whenever I first started watching live streams, I I heard about live stream, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, but I'd never checked it out. Mm-hmm. And like, whenever you actually go and see it for like the first time ever, and you're like, oh, wait a minute, like anytime whenever I was little, like. Are growing up, me and my brothers, one of my brothers would be like, oh, I'm about to play this. And it's like, oh, I got some food. 
Oh, that's like I'm about to eat. Let me let me go and uh you know let me watch you play. Yep. If you enjoy doing that, like if you haven't checked out live streams and stuff, check it out. Yeah. You will not want to watch TV. Yeah, it's, it's almost it's like, yeah, it very much is sort of your television replacement for sitting down having dinner or whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. The the, the one thing you will see though is that with a lot of a lot of these encounters, if you see the entirety of a play experience straight, you're not going to see these sort of like YouTube slice builds, these builds that sort of only really stand up. Like they don't stand up to the scrutiny of constant yeah. Uh, observation. Yeah, like you, yeah, you see the build, the gimmick builds on YouTube. Like, you, like there's a, for instance, a build that uses only shields, and it's like, yeah, he uploaded the two fights where he actually won as a character that only uses shields. That doesn't mean that your shield only build is 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 viable because it's not. Yeah, I mean, there's certain builds that just don't work. I mean, they have no real practicality, and you know, some people appreciate them because they sort of have this kind of you know mixed fun factor. But when it comes down to it, uh, you can't really promote these builds as something that you could actually take in. Like anybody who randomly could just jump in and have a fifty percent plus win ratio. It just doesn't happen. Yep. Are you trying to suggest that my offhand broken straight sword is not OP? Because <laughs> I'm fairly certain it is. But yeah, have y'all um have y'all finished? I just y'all just finished a very because I'm uh, brutal, <laughs> brutal I'm getting invasion. I'm getting nothing. So yeah, well, here I'm, we go. Here he is. Oh, you found your you found your manager. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna call it for my invasions anyways and just chat chat a little. Almost bit. done. But yeah, so I think no, I think this will be fun. It'll be a nice little break from because uh, when we're you know when we're doing the Twitch TV thing, if we tried to do this while streaming, it would be really distracting because the chat and like everyone trying to get your attention and like you yeah. know, it's and then a, you're getting you're getting stream sniped constantly. Yeah, but, yeah. but I like this. This is this is a nice break because we can focus fifty yeah. percent on what we're talking about and fifty percent on like an off. No, I don't want to say offline invasion, but an off cast invasion, which are totally different right. than fighting stream snipers like all day. So it's, yeah, and uh, it's, it's really nice. And it's, oh, he it's cool up. because it's yeah, like podcasts, but with visual aspects yeah. if you so choose. Yeah. So once again, yeah. guys, if you're watching this if from one of our channels, either Jerps, Peeves, or myself, and you're watching us, keep in mind you can open up one of our chan- uh, the other channels, and watch that video. You could even mute one video while listening to the other. And just see the different fights we went through. Because basically, we just recorded for an hour, but there's three hours of PvP that you can watch. Which is amazing. Like, like So that's three hours between us. Um, so if you're PvP junkies and you want to see what we go through on a regular basis and take a look at our different builds and stuff, you can go to either of our channels and just, you know, mute mute the audio because you've heard it already. And just, you know, watch us, uh, watch us get wrecked. <laughs> Yeah, watch. That's, that's pretty much what happened on my end. You watch all simultaneously. Yeah, yeah. pretty awesome. I actually had some pretty damn good invasions tonight. Like some really uh, good I, duels and like weird I fucking games. I got, I got murdered for sure. <laughs> yeah, you got murdered, but you're using a build that's I, meant I scared, to get murdered. I scared. I scared people. Okay, though. well that's all that matters. As long, I like as, long as you, as long as you like visually intimidate them, then you're good. So, oh, spooky, scary ghost. Spooky, yeah. <laughs> the spooky build. Sweet. Uh, but, um, yeah. We could try this like weekly and stuff. Yeah, we'll so. try it at least once a week and see what the response is. Guys, let us know in the comments uh, what you think. If you want to hear more of this or see more of this, um, and uh, maybe if you want to like direct us towards some some games, some suggestions. If you think we should like PvP in the same area or or something like that, or or similar builds or whatever. Just just any suggestions are. Are viable. I mean, we're not going to listen to any of it. We're just going to throw it all in the garbage and do our own thing. But you know, it, we like to let we like to let you guys know, think you're we'll in have charge. To be, yeah, the seven pass filter. Yeah, of, yeah. Uh... <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. But uh, yeah. And as for our status with Dark Souls Two, uh, I just got to say, when we know for sure we are allowed to show footage, we yeah, have. We're, we're trying to confirm. Of, I mean, I got we're plenty. struggling. Oh, there's mixed yeah. messages coming out. We're there's struggling a with complete the lack of enforcement on the NDA. But, but there's some you know, none big of us wants legal to the threats. Risk. There's some big legal yeah. threats coming from yeah. Namco Bandai. So we've just we just yeah. got to be careful. Uh, and as soon as we know that it's safe and that we're not going to lose our fucking channels, which would well break my heart, that's for sure. Uh, we will release all yeah. of our if, stuff. If, if my channel went down, I probably pretty much wouldn't come back. Yeah. So yeah. So I prefer not to lose that. Exactly. But uh, yeah, any final thoughts before we sign off? Uh, I think we can all agree that that statement earlier. I I, I pretty much am invincible. So yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Peeve done. Peeve never yeah, loses. Yeah, yeah, no. um, never Peeve loses. wasn't playing never uh, his kit. His you said a cat was yeah. playing for you. Yeah, yeah, a stray cat. A stray came cat came in your window yeah. and. 
Because, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> that's, that's my final thought. Excellent, nice. Uh, Brandon so... drove by and dropped one off. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Oh man! All right, guys. Well, uh, yeah. Thanks for uh, listening to our listening to our silly podcast. We uh, we hit almost an hour exactly, so uh, hopefully it wasn't too long. And uh, we will see you again hopefully next week. If you guys don't think this was total shit, yeah, let, let us know what you think. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys. Have a good night. Yep. See you. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.